was a busy man. Me? I'm chairman of the board. I got nothing but time. What do you want to know? Well, Mr. Bernstein, we thought maybe if we could find out what he meant by his last words as he was dying. That rosebud, huh? Maybe some girl? There were a lot of them back in the early days. It's hardly likely, Mr. Bernstein, that Mr. Kane could have met some girl casually and then 50 years later on his deathbed. Well, well you're pretty young, Mr. Mr. Thompson. A fellow will remember a lot of things you wouldn't think he'd remember. You take me. One day back in 1896, I was crossing over to Jersey on the ferry. And as we pulled out, there was another ferry pulling in. And on it, there was a girl waiting to get off. A white dress she had on. And she was carrying a white parasol. And I only saw her for one second. She didn't see me at all. But I'll bet a month hasn't gone by since that I haven't thought of that girl. Who else have you been to see? Well, I went down to Atlantic City. Susie? Thank you. I called her myself the day after he died. I thought maybe somebody ought to. Couldn't even come to the phone. I'm going down to see her again in a couple of days. About Rosebud, Mr. Bernstein? If you just talk about anything connected with Mr. Kane that you can remember, after all, you were with him from the beginning. From before the beginning, young fellow. Now, it's after the end. Have you tried to see anybody except Susie? I haven't seen anybody else. I've been through that stuff of Walter Thatcher's, that journal of his. Thatcher? That man was the biggest darn fool I ever met. He made an awful lot of money. Well, it's no trick to make a lot of money. All you want is to make a lot of money. You take Mr. King. It wasn't money he wanted. Thatcher never did figure him out. Sometimes even I couldn't. You know who you ought to see? Mr. Leland. He was Mr. Kane's closest friend. They went to school together. Harvard, wasn't it? Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Cornell, Switzerland. He was thrown out of a lot of colleges. Mr. Leland never had a nickel. One of those old families where the father is worth 10 million and then one day he shoots himself and it turns out there's nothing but debts. He was with Mr. Kane and me the first day Mr. Kane took over the inquiry. <laughs>